What's up guys? I'm Mr. Second Passport. Today uh, I'm going to share a very interesting new deal that the indigenous here in Ecuador have seemed to come to agreement with uh, with the local government and why you may want to sell your car quick here in Ecuador. The, the deal that they're, they seem to be coming to the indigenous and the local government here as we speak here in the the middle part of October 2022 is um, basically to keep the fuel, the oil subsidies, gasoline subsidies here in Ecuador, but only for certain people and certain vehicles. So first of all, if you own a car that has uh, a larger than a 2.2 uh, cc uh, engine, you're not going to be eligible for this. Uh, the fuel subsidy, and you're going to have to pay probably two or three times uh, probably international prices what uh, locals here with the subsidy can pay. Also, if you have a pickup truck with over a 3.0 cc engine, you're not going to be eligible. And if you have an if you have a Jeep or an SUV with over a 2.4 liter engine cc engine, you're not going to be able to apply and get the fuel subsidy. Uh, the second point is, I don't know how they're going to know this, but they're basically based on your cedula or ID number here in Ecuador. They're going to determine as far as your income, if it's over $41,000 a year, uh, which equates to about $3,400 a month or more, you also will not be able to buy gas at the uh, subsidized price, right? So big deal. Again, how will Big Brother know uh, how much everyone's making? Probably from the, the SRI Tax Institute down here in Ecuador. Um, again, also for people, say, who have three cars or more, um, and they also seem to be agreeing that the the use of domestic gas, like to heat your shower and stuff, they're going to maintain that subsidy for everyone. So again, super interesting, and if your car doesn't meet... Uh, those ex these ex these uh these parameters I would sell it as quick as you can here in Ecuador. Um, that's just me personally. Do as you will, but uh, I would if I had a car um, that didn't meet these parameters uh, because it could be worth a whole lot less here very shortly if they passed the a law um, with something uh, with something of these terms, which they seem to be doing as we speak. So anyway, I'm Mr. Second Passport. If you like that, please subscribe and the like button below. Take care.